Welcome to Questions from the Community, Episode 1. Basically, the way this series works is I have a channel in my Discord set up where people can ask questions that they want answered in sort of a long-form way in a video type thing, kind of like what I do with my previous videos where I just talk about different investments and things like that. But in this case, it's going to be actual questions that I'm answering, and that's basically how this works. So if you want to go ahead and ask a question for a video in the future and you want to be featured in one of these videos, then be sure to go to the Discord link in the description below and use the channel there. The sponsor for this video is Skimport. Com. They're a great minimalist site with a very nice UI that you can use to surf across all of the hundreds of thousands of items that they have available and find the best deals anywhere else. They also have changed their buyer fees to make it actually 0% now, which is pretty cool and a very good thing for the future. So if you want to go ahead and check them out and get all those great deals on Skimports, use the link in the description below. Thanks. All right, let's get into some of these questions. Firstly, we have Timler, who also is the first person to chat in the channel, so congratulations to him. And he said RMR sale when? So he's basically asking when the RMR sale is going to occur for the CSGO capsules that we did recently have released. Now, obviously I don't work for Valve, so I don't know the actual answer if there even is one, but what I would go ahead and surmise is that it's going to probably happen around the same time that they are going to get ready to go into the major, I think around November. That's going to be the most likely scenario if there isn't one up until then, just because that's the next time that capsules are going to be released. Also, they decide to release some other type of capsule, maybe some collaboration like they did with Halo or Warhammer. That could also kind of move the date up of when a sale could potentially occur, and I think a sale will kind of lead up to that next capsule release. That's what would make the most sense from a sort of business perspective, but again, I don't work for Valve, so I don't know for sure. A sale wouldn't really crash the RMR market per se, but it would definitely shift it downwards because obviously things are going to be cheaper and easier to get, so the prices are going to shift accordingly, but that's pretty much how that's going to work if there is a sale at all. Now, for my personal opinion, if there's going to be a sale or not, I do think that there is going to be one, but again, I don't know for sure. I do think that there's a good chance that it'll drop down to 25 cents per capsule because it kind of does follow the same model of the autograph capsules, but once again, I don't know for sure. So hopefully that gave at least some answer to that slightly meme question. Let's move on to the next one. The next question is from Frost, and he asks, what are the chances there's going to be a discounted operation? So this is going to be sort of an interesting question because there's kind of two parts to this. Is there going to be a discounted operation, as in, is the start count going to be discounted or the star price going to be discounted or is there going to just be a pass discount on how expensive the operation pass itself is now i think the most likely scenario is just going to follow the previous operations where there's probably going to be a sale on the passes which is usually a good thing to invest into because you can get them for very cheap and they do tend to pretty much be almost guaranteed profit of course after time goes on so i do think there's going to be a pass sale but i don't think there's going to be a operation sale on stars or the cost of stars if there is it'll be probably pretty minor so that's how I think that's going to go, if any. Obviously, the stars are already kind of discounted. If you look, there's actually a sort of lower cost on the stars that has existed since the beginning of the operation. The next question is from BSAD, and he asks, I have $10, what's the best investment right now? Now, that's kind of a meme question from my community, but I'll answer it anyway. If you have a $10 price point and you're looking into buying something that's going to give you decent ROI, there is, of course, the Broken Fang Grays, like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, and those Broken Fang Grays are pretty solid because you can buy them for very cheap, and you can make a very easy profit on them since they don't have to rise very much to make you a decent amount of profit. If if you mass buy them, so that's also an option. There's also a few skins that are worth around $10 that I think could be good options going forward. Depending on how the case reacts after Broken Fang ends, we could see some pretty good profit on the lower wares of the Cybersecurity and the other pinks and of course the Op Exoskeleton. Obviously it depends on what actually happens with the case, but if it's something similar to Shattered Web, there could be a decent profit margin on that already, so be sure to look out for that. And don't sleep on this guy, he's already maintaining a higher price than other agents of the same tier, and of course because he's a meme, he could actually have some potential value over the future as well, so do watch out for that. And my final thing to look out for that isn't just a broken fang related thing is going to be the 5.7 case hardened. A little bit of a weird pick, but hear me out. Obviously the case hype has been pretty nice and the weapon case 2 and the weapon case 2's price has actually gone pretty well recently, which is a very nice thing to see. Obviously means there's going to be a little bit more hype for that case specifically and for the 5.7 case hardened. We also have seen some upward price movement as you can see by the graph of the 5.7 case hardened, which is a good sign as well. I do think that's going to be one to look out for and a good way to cash in on any case hardened hype that does occur in the future which is very possible as well, and you can get it for pretty cheap. You also might be able to get a nice pattern on it, which is also pretty beneficial. Next we have Cookie with two questions. When is Investment Odyssey Part 2, and when am I going to stop playing Roblox? So Investment Odyssey Part 2 is definitely something I am going to do in the future. Again, I just don't have a solid date for it. It does take a lot of preparation, and it does take a pretty solid market to actually, and there needs to be a good market that I can make consistent videos off of, so that is going to happen in the future, so don't be worried about that. It's just that I don't have a solid date for it. Also, as I mentioned, I've been working on a pretty huge project recently, and that's taken a little 
little bit extra time to work on that every single week. That's also going to kind of hinder the fact that I can't really hit the Investment Odyssey episodes that consistently. This series is obviously a little bit easier to make and doesn't have as many moving parts, so that's why I'm deciding to start this one. And as for me quitting Roblox, I've been playing it on and off since 2008, so who knows when I'll quit next. I'm making good profit on there though, so that's pretty nice. And of course, I also made pretty good profit off of their recent IPO or direct listing or whatever you want to call it. So that's also been pretty nice, so probably not for the foreseeable future. Next question is from Shanka Muffin. He's basically asking how patterns are determined to be rare or unique. So let's get into that question. Very good question, by the way. So it's kind of a mixture, but it does tend to be based off of the rarity of the pattern, of course. Now with Dopplers, for example, you have the rubies or the sapphires, which are a very low percentage to get based on the pattern index of a thousand different patterns. You have a very low chance to get something that's a ruby or a sapphire or an emerald, for example. And that's why those ones are obviously more rare and more expensive. But then, of course, there's ones that the community decides are pretty fun and interesting to go for, like those dual bread of demolition Jesus patterns or the 5-7 Kami patterns that are a little bit weird, and those ones do have a little bit of a lower chance to get out of pattern indexes, but they are definitely more based on the community perception of them. So like I said, it's a mixture of both, but the patterns do tend to be rare in the first place, so it's definitely more rarity based. Next up we have Candy M asking what's my end goal with trading. My end goal with trading is actually every sort of god tier old community item that people consider to be god tier back in the day, so stuff like Karambit Fades, Dragon Lores, Fire Serpent, stuff like that, and I had a little bit more of that, I was a little bit closer to the goal than before the operation, but I actually sold some of it in order to get some liquid to invest with. But yeah, I did have stuff like the Fire Serpent and the Deagle Blaze, but now I just have the Krambit Fade, the Glock Fade, and the Howl, and that's pretty much all of the god tier stuff that contributes towards that goal right now. But I'm still working on it, and I'm still going to try and end up getting that full collection at some point. To answer the second part of the question, am I ever going to get bored of trading? That's pretty much not going to ever happen. My mind is sort of just geared towards trying to make profit and trying to trade as much as I possibly can just because I really do enjoy it. It's one of my favorite things to do in the whole entire world. So that's kind of why I do so much of it on Roblox right now, because I don't really have much to go for on CSGO, as I'm sort of just waiting to invest all the liquid that I have right now. But on Roblox, I am trading quite a lot, as I showed before. Next question is from Aridin, and he asks, why is Hopping Hatter mentioned in every video? And that's because he's dumb and racist. No, but in all honesty, Hopping Hatter is a pretty close friend of mine. He's a really nice guy. He's very smart for his age and definitely a good guy to talk to if you have investment questions. He's a little bit uh, aggressive, I guess, but he's very good at chess as well and just a cool guy. So I kind of like to make fun of him a little bit, but he knows it's a joke. And for the final question of this video, Kujala asks, are broken fan cases going to be the best investment or is there a different case to go on to? So right now, cases are obviously doing a lot of weird stuff because of different theories that people have. I personally think it's because of Chinese people opening the cases like crazy, as there has been some evidence of that. But I do think that the major case hype is still definitely supported by a lot of investor hype. But right now, I think that broken fan cases are still going to be pretty solid to buy into. They're a little undervalued, actually, in my opinion, and I do think that the long term is going to be pretty good for them, as long as they do actually get discontinued and don't end up dropping in games. Game. So I do think that that's going to be good for the Broken Fang case, and I do think that makes them a good case to buy into. Shadow Rob cases also might be good to look back into, but those ones are a little bit stagnant at the moment, so you're going to have to wait on that. And for the other cases, I think Shadow case is going to be a pretty solid one, and even the Prisma case is still a little bit cheap, and if this case hype does continue, that could be a good one to follow. And that's pretty much going to wrap up episode one of questions from the community. If you guys are still interested in asking questions, be sure to check out the Discord server below, and you can go ahead and use that channel to ask any questions. I'll be going back through it, of course, every time I make a new episode of this series, so you will have a chance of your question being answered even if you submit it right now. Just make sure that they're unique and actually thought-provoking, that I can make a little bit of a segment of an answer off of. So thanks guys for contributing and asking questions, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Be sure to check out Skimports and my Discord and Twitter links below.